everyone, this is Sam with Brick and New, and you must be watching this because you have a challenging fireplace. So let me give you some tips on how to measure for your fireplace door. First of all, the fireplace you see down below here is a fireplace where we could not find the model number. It has tile around it, it's got a curtain in it, and at first glance it might seem a little challenging, but in reality this is a very basic installation. So let me walk you through some of the things that you're going to want to consider for your fireplace as you're measuring and getting us the correct measurements. First of all, you're going to the fireplace door will always fit between the metal parts of your fireplace box, the metal opening. It does not fit within the tile. It does not fit in the back. It fits right here within the front edge of the opening, okay? So you're going to get us a measurement that goes from side to side, metal to metal. And what we're going to do is back that off about a quarter of an inch so that number one, it fits easily, but number two, that it meets national code regulations for ventilation and prefab fireboxes. This is a picture of the fireplace door and the frame that will go into that opening. So you can see it's a nice frame. It will fit right in to this firebox right here, okay? Now, as you start to look at some of the details, okay, you're going to see that there's a couple things that you want to consider. And that is this opening right here. This is showing you the metal that you want to consider. Sometimes this can be a lip. Sometimes it's flush with the side of the firebox, but this is where your measurement is going to be. Okay, your frame will fit inside of this. Now you'll notice that up top and on the bottom, it's going to be more of a lip because they put this in there to uh, cover up the curtain guard and also in the original fireplaces on the bottom to provide a track for the doors to slide within. That it is okay for the frame to be within this edge. It does not have to sit up here flush in the top or the bottom, but you will have some very secure brackets that you'll mount it on the side of your fireplace uh, down below this arrow. So it holds it very firmly in place, even if it's not resting exactly on the bottom of the fireplace. So take a look real right here. As you are looking uh, at maybe your fireplace is similar to this or a little different, some things you want to be aware of, okay? You do want to be aware of the depth of your opening down below here, okay? If you do not want the fireplace door frame protruding at all over the edge, you're going to want to take that in, into consideration. We have thin frames and we have regular frames, which are about three quarters to seven eighths of an inch wide. And sometimes it may stick out about an eighth of an inch, which really doesn't look bad, but for some people, it's, uh, it's an issue that they want to make sure, uh, or they prefer it to be flush. You also, if you have stone or tile, you have got to take into consideration whether it overlaps this, uh, your metal opening of the firebox. This tiler has done a very good job, and uh, it gives us plenty of room to work with. Sometimes you will have different parts, like this little protrusion right here, Different things that may have to be either removed, bent, worked around, whatever. But fireplaces have a lot of parts, and very frequently uh, you will have to maybe take a piece out uh, and to, to make your doors install correctly. Um, again, I wanted to point out this bottom part because this raises a lot of questions. This was the original fireplace door track right here. And in an older fireplace, the parts are missing, the doors are gone, and that's why we build a frame to go in the door. This back piece is the mesh curtain guard. As you can see, the curtains always go behind it. And that is, uh, sometimes we'll see pictures where people have the curtains in this track right here, and that is not where they go. They go behind this piece. Then this track right here does not necessarily have to be where your fireplace door frame goes. It can sit on top of this front edge, but each fireplace and personal's preferences are just a little different. But I want to just let you know that, you know what, if we make the door to go with inside this metal frame, which we pointed out before, you do have some very secure brackets where it will mount on this side part of your fireplace with some self-tapping sheet metal screws. So, 
please call us if you have any other questions, comments, send us your pictures, but hopefully this will answer most everyone's questions in regards to measuring for your fireplace doors.